Happy Halloween, everybody. I'm the Terrorbox Gamer, and you're probably wondering, hey, um, this isn't a horror game. And you'll be correct. It's definitely not a horror game, but the thing is, it's Jack 2's 20th anniversary, so I thought I'd do a little thing with it. Unofficially, there was talk of a unofficial Jack month, but I don't know the entire plans for it. I just popped up and said, hey, I have some Jack 2 videos. Can I do it for, you know, the thing? And they're like, hey, yeah, sure, go ahead. So here I am. Speaking of which, next year is going to be the 21st anniversary. I have an idea what to do with that. So, I'll probably save that for when it actually happens. I think next year is going to be Jack 3's 20th. So, hey, we have a plan for next year. That's nice. These videos have been kind of in the back for a while. Like, I'd say maybe a year? Two? Probably just a year. For every age, there is a time of trial. The rocks faced such a fire before they were the strength beneath our feet. The plants braved vast winds before their roots could give us life. As a sage of considerable years, I have known only one such great ordeal. Yet the hero it created was a champion for all time. Today's the big day, Jack. I hope you are prepared. For whatever happens. I think I figured out most of this machine. It interacts somehow with that large precursor ring. I just hope we didn't break anything moving it here to the lab. Easy for you to say. We did all the heavy lifting. Daxter, don't touch anything. Though the precursors vanished long ago, the artifacts they left behind can still do great harm. Or great good, if you figure out how to use them. I've had some experience with such things. I know you can make it work. Looks like Jack still got the mojo. Interesting. It appears to be reading out some preset coordinates. Wow, look at that. Finally, the last rift gate has been opened. Funny enough. Kid me got scared at these. So this is how it happened. You cannot hide from me, boy. Do something, Jack! What's this do? Or all, all that? How about this one? Anybody press all the buttons? What was that thing? Hang on, everyone! There's also going to be a part of me that wants to talk about certain things, but they contain spoilers. <laughs> like a lot of spoilers. So I'm going to keep my trap shut for it. I mean, at a certain point, I think I could okay. talk about them, but. I swear, that's the last time I ever, ever touch any stupid precursor crap. I'm sure you made that same promise in the first game. Hey guys! Forget the rat. The welcoming community. What's up? We've been waiting for you. Ow! Don't worry, Jack. I'll save you before you know it. And that goes into the spin-off Dexter, which I kind of miss playing. Dark eco injection cycle complete. Bio readings nominal and unchanged. Well, nothing. I was informed that this one might be different. He is surprisingly resistant to your experiments, Baron Praxis. I fear the Dark Warrior program has failed. Uh, you should at least be dead with Can you not? I'm in you. pain. What now? Metalhead armies are pressing their attacks. Without a new weapon, my men cannot hold them off forever. I will not be remembered as the man who lost this city to those vile creatures. Move forward with a final plan. Finish off this 
day tonight. As you wish. I'll be back later. Dude, your breath stinks. Get out of my face. Ding, ding. Third floor. Body chains, roach food, torture devices. Hey, buddy. Ow. Any heroes around here? Whoa. What'd they do to you? A lot. Jack, it's me, Daxter. Please shut up. That's a fine hello. I've been crawling around in this place, risking my tail, oh. literally, to save you. I've been looking for you for two years. Say something. Just this once. I'm going to kill Praxis. Shh. Shh. Right now, we got to get you out of here. Just let me figure out how to open the security locks for your chair so I can... Uh, you can do it. Jack, easy now. Easy, buddy. It's it's your old pal Daxter, remember? Daxter? What the heck was that? Sheesh! Remind me not to piss you off. Come on, tall, dark, and gruesome. We're out of here. I uh, brought you some new threads. Put them on. All right, so this happens every time I play a game after a long, long time. I got to get used to the controls. Specifically the camera. Everything else could be fine because it's not that difficult, but the camera makes it or breaks it. Do you remember how to jump? I think if you turn off the hints, Dexter stops talking, but honestly, I like his little inputs every now and then. These precursor orbs are worth a lot now. We might find a few hidden around or get some We're not going to be finding a lot of them. I have no idea where they're hidden. Maybe a few, maybe a few, Please but not all of them. How to roll. It's not a Jack and Dexter video until I smack myself into the wall. Prison escape in progress. Oh, <laughs> they already caught me. Thank God it's not a stealth game, otherwise I'd be screwed. Ooh, that's a high I mean, Try it's, no, it's not a stealth game. While in the air to reach that one. There are lots of crimson guard crates lying around for the taking. Break that crate. It kind of skipped a dialogue right there. It's supposed to say something once you grab the health kit. This sector is on high alert. Doesn't feel like it's on a high alert. I mean, I'm walking breezefully. Duck before you jump, you'll go higher. You'll need a high jump to reach the top of this ledge, Jack. Hello. Goodbye. You know, the one thing I miss is the rolling attack. Because in the first game, when you roll into an enemy, like roll jump into an enemy, it actually does damage. After that, it, it never done that again. Good job. The crate had a health pack inside. Well, Pick the missing up. dialogue came back. Healthy, Jack, or, uh, we'll do the fighting. We're in. I remember as a kid, this part right here would unintentionally kill me the first time because I would jump right off the platform and fall down. <laughs> and if you jump down here, you get a precursor orb. I don't know how many there are in the first level. I think maybe six? Five? I don't recall. But after this one, it's going to be like falling to your death, so... Don't jump down them. Can't hit me. Don't touch me. Miss. You guys have the aim of a stormtrooper. I mean, they typically don't try to kill their target, but I'm pretty sure you're trying to kill me. The breakers are orbs not around here. It must be on the bottom one. Um, camera. Thank you. It's right here. There we go. Maybe there's more than six. Eight? I'm not sure. So, basically the precursor orbs unlock secrets. And there's some cool secrets that you can unlock. Like infinite ammo, invulnerability, infinite dark eco. Like, it's pretty cool. Granted, you have to find all the precursor or well, not all, but a certain number. The most you need, I think, is 200. And 200 unlocks this new mode called Hero Mode, which is basically New Game Plus, but harder. Speaking of which, I think I might do that for next year. It'll be for the 21st anniversary of Jack Do. It'll be illegal to drink. We'll do it while we're drunk or something like that. I I I'm still... Writing up the details. I mean, I don't think I've ever record. No, wait, I have. We're free, Jack. Thanks to me. Nice to breathe some fresh air, huh? 
as fresh as it could get here. I love the theme of the city. It's got to be one of my favorites in the game. Hello, strangers. My name is Kor. May I help? You look like a reasonably smart man. I want information. Where the hell am I? Uh, sorry. He's new to the whole conversation thing. Well, my angry young friend, you are a guest of His Majesty, Baron Praxis, the ruler of glorious Avon City. I was just a guest in the good Baron's prison. Inside a cell or inside the city, walls surround us both. We are all his prisoners. Talk about being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I, I'd move on if I were you. <laughs> I, I like how that NPC is run. It's ma it makes me laugh. Everyone in this section is hereby under arrest for suspicion of harboring underground fugitives. Surrender and die. Whoa, hey. Don't you mean surrender or die? Not in this city. Protect us from these guards, and I'll introduce you to someone who can help you. Okay. Sounds easy enough. I mean, this is before they start shooting at you. Oh, hell yeah. You probably ought to run. That's the only thing I could think of that keeps you alive, honestly. You're not walking away from this fight. Holy shit. Get it. Kill it. Destroy it. It, it doesn't want to destroy. The game tells me no, so I guess it's a no. Ow. I think that's the first time I actually beat it. Something's happening to me. Reverting back to Jack. I can't control it. Very impressive. You okay, Jack? What you just did was very brave. This child is important. This kid? He looks kind of scruffy. You are in a restricted zone. Move along. Oh, so you're just cool with us now? Thank you for your help, but I, must I mean, I just killed a safe. couple of your boys. Hey, or knocked them us? out, depending it's on the rating. Ground group waging war against Baron Praxis. Its leader, the Shadow, could use fighters like you. Go to the slums. Find a dead-end alley near the city wall. Ask for Torn. He can help you. You know, originally, this is where I was going to call the video. But I thought... No, no. Probably too short. It's probably like way too short. So I might as well go do the next mission. And I swear to God, I get it a little confused the first few times. So if I go the wrong direction, sorry. But then again, this place does kind of like, oh shit, what did I do? What I do? I probably hit one of your boys by accident. Sorry? I guess it's a good thing that the missions don't care about notoriety. We're looking for a guy named Torn. Core sent us. Um, are you Torn? Maybe this guy's a new, like you used to be. New faces make me nervous. Word is you're out to join the fight for the city. You know, picking the wrong side could be unhealthy. We want to see the shadow. <laughs> Not likely. If you want to join something, why don't you and your pet go join the circus? <laughs> Unless you've got the fur for a really tough task. Steal the Baron's banner from the top of the ruined tower and bring it back to me. Then, maybe we'll talk. You know, to share something embarrassing, when I first played Jack 2, I think I was... Well, I probably wasn't halfway through the game, but I was a good chunk into the game. When I made a realization, Jack was talking. Y yeah, you heard me right. It took me a good chunk of the game to realize that Jack started to talk. Which, in hindsight, was kind of funny. <laughs> I mean, the first words he says was, I'm going to kill Baron. You'd think I would have noticed that, but no, it took me like... I'm trying to remember where. Well, I'll probably point it out when we get there, but it took me a good bit to realize that. Wait a minute. He's talking. <laughs> not the... I'm not the very observant, aren't I? Uh, I mean, in a lot of videos, I say I can't see shit. I guess in this one, I could say I can't hear shit. <laughs> you know, to be honest, after years of having a loading screen, I like this loading transition. 
It feels nice. No screens to wait on. Just, just like, go. It's nice. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I had to edit out, like, loading screens in several games. Like, it's never, like, ridiculously long, but a minute of waiting could drive you a little crazy. So, yeah. You dick. You know, I remember there's this little glitch right here with those fallen pebbles that if you walk under them, like, you get hurt, like, but Jack would fall flat. It'll be like you walk, like, right here and he would, like, trip and fall flat, but I think they patched that out, too. Like, he doesn't do it anymore. Anybody else remember that or experience that? Because I was dumbfounded whenever it happened. I think it was still on the PlayStation 3 version, maybe? I'm not entirely sure, but if you, like, ran past it, you would trip and get hurt. During this part, I just like diving and jumping like this for some reason. I did it as a kid, and I don't know, it's just so satisfying, like you're dodging danger barely. I think after this jump, I just do it normally because it's kind of a big gap and I need to like with the angle too like it, it can mess you up if i recall that little pole that you had to jump to i think i fall on that at least maybe two or three times because i couldn't properly see it back then now it's fine like i got it down flat i also like how they have the old jack and dexter like mission complete sound like right there nice call back you guys are in now originally this is where the first video was gonna end but i saw it was only like 17 minutes and i was like hmm i could go a little longer i could add you know part two to the first part why not let's go back to the city so funny story i got into this jack month discord that as you can probably tell celebrates jack and dexter I saw it through an iceberg video made by Paracel Zeke, which I highly suggest. It's a good video. The thing is, when I asked to join because I wanted to get involved, it was already a year late. Like, the whole thing already passed. I was like, oh, that was kind of awkward. <laughs> but they still let me join in. And, I, you know, I just like the op like, I liked how we could talk and have, like, good conversations. Like, it's a fun Discord. Speaking of fun, you want to see what I do in this game in my free time? You got to find one of the small ones and you got to go up like that. <laughs> Casual murder without repercussions. Then again, I don't think they die. I think they just bounce off. But, it, you know, details, details. It, it's still a form of vandalism. You just got to aim it right and hit it. But it, it could be a little tricky. Also, be warned, your vehicle isn't indestructible, so if you hit it wrong, you could also blow up your own vehicle. Just keep that in mind. I mean, I can't count how many times it happens, but when it happens, it's it doesn't kill you automatically. It'll, it'll hurt you, but it won't kill you automatically. Woo! Being a big hero sure makes you thirsty. Oh. I hope that's mud. The Baron turned off all water to the slums. He's willing to sacrifice innocent lives just to destroy the underground. I shouldn't be surprised. I've seen his evil before while serving in the Crimson Guard. That's why I quit. You were a Crimson Guard? <laughs> well, that explains your charming sense of humor. My friend in the guard tells me the valve to turn the water back on is located outside the city, at the pumping station. Outside the city? What about the security walls? What about the metalheads? There ain't no petting zoo out there. Peeps be getting deep sixed. Find the large drain pipe in the north wall. It'll take you outside the city to the pumping station. Get to the main valve and open it. If you survive, the slums will be indebted to you. If not, Maybe we'll have a touching moment of silence in your honor. 
I'd like to give him a touching moment. You know, I think this mission I got lost as a kid, which is kind of embarrassing considering you have your own map. But at the time, I wasn't too great at like following the map. Like, I think I must have been like, ah, I don't remember. <laughs> See, I told you when we blow up, we don't die. So if you want to, you could just keep smacking into cars until you, you know, you're on your last HP. This one, I'm not too big a fan on. I mean, it's the same as... You also want to be careful for the Crimson Guard vehicles. And the Crimson Guards. That was an accident. I mean, there is a way that you could get them off you without dying. You need to find a secluded area. And hug the wall. I don't know if I do this here... But you'll press yourself against the wall and they will have no idea where the heck you are. Even if they run like right past you. And now they have the gun. Just keep dodging. They're like stormtroopers. Except for the one in the vehicle. The one in the vehicle has better aim. So just dodge roll and hope for the best. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Just roll with it. Don't mind me. Ow. Or I could take this vehicle. I could just take this. We don't have to roll. Usually when I go towards this area, what I like to do is I like to smack my vehicle into the wall. Whoops. Not for any particular reason. Just because I like to see it blow up. But considering what's going on, I don't think I'll be able to do that this time around. Jeez, you guys are killing more people than I am. And I'm the guy with Dark Eco in his veins. That should tell you something. Oh, you're off me. Huh. Yeah, another way to get off of being wanted is, like, just stay out of sight. I think. I don't know, like, sometimes that's just it. You know, like, you can leave areas and come back and they'll be off you. I kind of miss Daxter. I mean, he's right here. I'm talking about the game. Like, I think you could play it on PlayStation Plus, but that's like the streaming version of it. For me, the streaming service sucks because you need good internet, and my internet just is not good enough to run it smoothly. I wish I could, like, give you that whole download thing. You know, like, some games, they let you download the game, but I think it's only if it's on, like, the system that you're using. Like, for example, I have a PlayStation 4, so when I find another PlayStation 4 game there, I could download it. But a PlayStation 3? No. You gotta stream it, sadly. Which is sad, because there's a lot of classics on this, you know, um, PlayStation Plus. And it kind of kills me, because I could see not only, well, Jack and Dex don't really count, because they already have, like, a version for the PlayStation 4. I mean, I'm not sure about the PlayStation 5, but I do know that I have it for 4, so I have the game. Except for Lost Frontier, but then again, Lost Frontier wasn't really a fan favorite, I imagine. Because you can't find it on PlayStation Plus. I'm not that confident because I haven't checked, but yeah, I know that's the only Jack and Dexter game that isn't there, which is kind of sad. I mean, like I said, it wasn't a fan favorite, so maybe it's not that sad to some. I remember playing it. And, well, I didn't hate it, but I also didn't, like, I don't really remember much about it is what I'm trying to get at. I think the only thing I really remember was, like, Daxter had, like, does anyone care if I spoil anything? Like, that's my question, like, because I don't want to spoil what happens, but at the same time, like, I don't think anybody cares. So, uh, small spoiler, just so, you know, like, skip, like, 30 seconds. In that game, Daxter had, like, a dark version of himself. Kind of like how Jack has a dark version of himself. Was it the best segment? No, but I kind of like the concept of it, you know? I mean, I guess the only reason why I'm more concerned about that game is because... Oh, the Valve. It is indeed the valve. You sure? You need some help? 
There you go. Whoa. Be right there. Jack, help. Jack, I'll just gotta be like very stretchy because Ugh. Don't say it. Don't even chuckle. Next time, you turn the valves. You know, I think there is a mission like that where we turn valves, but I think it's in the... No, no, it's in this one. It's in the sewers. We'll get there later. Technically. Um, what was I saying before the cutscene? Um, yeah, the only reason why I care about The Lost Frontier will probably be because I feel like I need to complete the series at one point. Because I went back and I completed the first one, the second one, the third one, and Jack X Combat Racing, which... Probably isn't my favorite as well, mainly because I'm not a racing fan, which is kind of... I'm good. Greetings, great warrior. I sense there is a dark... I love this thing's voice. In you, and in time, it will destroy you with its madness. Only the last power of the precursors can save you. Destroy my enemies, those creatures you call the Metalheads. Bring me 25 of their skull gems, and I will teach you how to control these powers. Like, I love the voice. I, I don't know why. Do we have 25? We do not have 25. Damn it. Also, if you activate Dark Jack in there, the guards won't care. I mean, everybody else would, but the guards, they don't care. They're all like, oh yeah, that's normal. Nothing to see here. Uh, until you bump into them, then they get mad because that's aggroing them. I think it's also with the citizens too. Like, you can punch them a certain number of times before you kill them or knock them out, however you like to point it out. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Looks like somebody lost their cruiser. <laughs> with this, you can actually get a gun. Be careful with the gun. If you hit a guard or if you hit a person, yeah, you, you get wanted. If I recall, I think these things are called Hellcats, and I love the design of the Hellcat. It looks awesome. There's also the big ones. I think they're called the Hellcat Cruisers. They're cool, too, but I find myself pulling those up by accident more often than not. And since, actually, looking at that map, we have a little challenge that we could do right now. I'm just going to park you, like, right here. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was saying that, like, Jack X wasn't my favorite, but I'm also not a fan of, like, racing, whoops, racing games, which I was going to say, it's kind of ironic, because this game does have racing elements in it that I typically don't like. In fact, I think this is a game that broke my, like, I don't like racing thing. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not my favorite, but when I was a little kid, I absolutely hated it until I played this game, and then, you know, it just kind of broke off from it. I think the reason why I didn't like Jack X that much wasn't because it was totally just a racing game, but because, one, when I got it, the game rarely worked, and two, uh, personal issue here, but it kind of got me a little sick, so I didn't really care to play it. Like, it, it got me a little eh. Of course, when it was back on the PlayStation Store, along with the other games, I was like, you know what? I didn't beat it before. I kind of want to beat it again. So I went back, I beat it. It wasn't that bad. It was actually pretty fun, but I wouldn't say it's my favorite. Also, when you complete a challenge like so, you get three precursor orbs, unless it's a score that you have to beat. You will have like a bronze medal, a silver medal, and a gold medal to try to achieve. Uh, if you get the bronze, you get one. If you get silver, you get two. And getting the gold is free. Luckily for those challenges, all you have to do is beat the, you know, challenge to get the three. It's not like timing you or anything. I mean, it is timing you, but you don't have to do it at a, well, 
you don't have to beat a time limit, is what I'm trying to get at. I mean, you technically do, but it, you know what I mean. You don't have to do like it. You don't have to do it very fast, is what I'm trying to say. The slum's water is back on. I'd love to see the heads roll when the Baron finds out. Yeah, I'm sure he's losing lots of sleep over this armpit of the city. We've done what you've asked. Now when do we see the shadow? When I say so, if I say so. But before I even think about it, I want you to take care of an ammo dump we've ID'd in the fortress. Lots of crimson guards, constant patrols. We know it's vulnerable, and the underground needs you to blow up all the ammo you find inside. Get all of it, and we'll deal a body blow to the Baron. You're sending us in, tough guy. So what's with this, we'll deal a body blow stuff? That's fine. I want the Baron to know that it's me who's hurting him. You know, I think this was also another mission that I kind of died quite a bit. And... <laughs> Oh boy, it's kind of embarrassing looking back on it now. It's like, man, I died at this. You're telling me that this killed me a bunch of times? Really? How embarrassing. Uh. I mean, it's also one of my favorite early missions, but uh, you'll, you'll see it in a minute. I want to park this like right here. Right over here. Y you'll see why in a bit. Just like right here. Oh, yeah, I forgot another thing. So, say you get a vehicle, if you drive it just lightly, well, as fast as you want, but if you jump out before it hits the Crimson Guard, they won't get mad at you. So, just oh, just wanted to share that with everybody. And yes, you do see a tank thing here. It It's not going to be a problem. Unauthorized use of fortress I lied, it's going to be a problem. This part right here got me as a kid because the perspective change was like I, I couldn't make the jump try. I kept getting shot at. It was embarrassing, but uh, you learn to get past stuff. And also, uh, be careful for the amount of guns here. Ooh, whoops. Chill out. I'm going. I'm leaving. I get it. Private area. I'm out. See? You'd think it would have, like, a safety feature telling it not to enter a certain area, you know, because it'll destroy it, but, yeah, you know what, um, not my design, so, don't really care. And another smack here, and we're good to go. I don't know where the... Precursor orbs are in this area. I can only think of like maybe one. Never trust anyone. Speaking of which, I think that if you miss, like, there's some areas that you can't go back to. So if you miss the precursor orb there, you're kind of out of luck because you can't get back to them. So I, did I? I hope I mentioned that earlier, at least for the prison escape. D did I? I? I don't think I have. Whoops. Uh, well, not, now you know. I'm sorry for forgetting to tell you about it. I mean, with the challenges, you should get enough Precursor Orb to get all the secrets, so you don't need to worry about it. Gotta... Uh, whoop. Well, I got them all. I didn't do it flawlessly, but I still got them. I think it's down here. Before you leave, you gotta go, like, look over here. No. I could have sworn it was like right there. Whoops. <laughs> the first way I die. The first way I die and it's falling to my death. <laughs> That's got to be the worst way to die in any video game. Like, you fall to your death. That's on you. It, it's like, that's definitely on you. Unless the... Uh, unless you get surprised that the ground beneath you caves in and you fall, there's no excuse, especially during the first part of the game. I mean, when I was a kid, I had bad, you know, judgment on my jump, so... But that was when I was a kid. 
I, I would say I have better judgment on jumps now, so any death that I jump into, 100% my fault. I need the camera. Thank you, camera. I could have sworn there's like one precursor orb here. Am I wrong? Must be thinking of a different place then. Yeah, I must be thinking of a different place. Cool, that's a security pass. We need those to get through city checkpoints. I got stuck on one of these before. Shh. I think it was for the red, you know, security check pass. These barrels are oh. the shipment of eco. The hell is that? Metalheads in the city? Why are the guards giving them eco? Oh, hi. We weren't trespassing. We were doing the plumbing. Yeah, definitely. The robot turns is going to be all like, oh, yeah? Then why are you here? You're not near the toilet. I was going to fix this thing. There's a sink here, right? I'm not a good liar, okay? Like, I'm bad at lying. At least on the spot. I'm not good at lying on the spot. Now, when it gets the last one, you want to be very close to the wall over here, okay? Like, right towards that door. You see that door? You want to be as close as possible. Because it's going to blow up. Then you got 10 seconds. As a little kid, I didn't get that either. But that's gotta hurt. This place has too much excitement. We need to move back to the country. Now, let's see. I fought. Right, I died. I lost my vehicle. Ah, whatever. I could always just take this. I mean, it's not a Hellcat Cruiser, but it it'll do. I would say this is probably my favorite vehicle to use but the downside to this vehicle is that it's easily destroyable like one bad hit and you go boom so you got to be very careful on those but they are pretty fast I, like i feel like i have the more control with that one compared to the rest the demolition duo has returned one barbecue ammo dump served up hot we saw something odd while torching that ammo. The Baron's guards were giving barrels filled with eco to a group of metalheads. Really? The Shadow will be very interested to hear that. You know, so far, your gigs have been easier than stealing grass from a sleeping yakko. <laughs> you and the rodent want to start proving yourselves? One of our suppliers needs his payment to live. Oh, okay, this mission. Take the Zoomer parked out back and drive it to the Hip Hog Heaven Saloon in Southtown. Ask for crew. He'll be there. And don't let the Baron's patrols stop you. By the way, when you get there, pump crew for information. He's wired into the city and may know what the Baron is up to. You can count on us. Are you still here? I mean, it's not a bad mission, but as a kid, I for some reason had troubles with this one. I mean, I have memories that if I took too long, I fail the mission. So I don't know if it has a time limit, and I always assumed that that thing up there was like my little timer. I think now that's not the case. I think it's like just telling you how far you are from the destination. But I could be wrong. Like, I, I don't know what it is exactly. Hi. Bye. I'm on it. Don't worry. One thing I learned how to do in this game was drive either very fast or very dangerous. Sometimes both. Now, if you're going to ask if I drive well, the answer's no. I don't drive too well. Both in game and in real life. I crash a car all the damn time. This time I can't due to the fact that it's kind of a mission car. Until you get to the I figure they're on to me. 
the sirens kind of tell me that they're on to me. God damn. But yeah, the second you get to the, you know, location, you can just smack into a wall and blow up your vehicle and the game don't care. Which, to be honest, I always kind of find that a little funny. It's so important, but it doesn't give you a game over. But then again, I guess we already completed the mission by getting here. Oh, it didn't blow up. I wanted to blow up. Let me handle this, Jack. Watch my finesse and style. Don't forget to. Everything's ask cool. Him. Nobody panic. Hey, big guy. You crew? Well, we shook the heat, and your shipment's in primo condition. That's good, eh? Because a cargo of rare eco ore is worth more than ten of your lives. And of course, I'd be forced to collect slowly. <laughs> the underground will take anyone with a pulse these days. And what we have here, the Shadow's mascot of the month. Ooh, soft. Zig, this fur would go well with my silk suit, eh? Listen, uh, tons of fun. Anyone can see that you uh, and I have the real juice in this bird. We're both players, right? We're both looking for a piece of the action, right? I think we can do business, right? We did you a favor, now it's your turn. Why is the Baron giving eco to metalheads? Questions like that could get a person killed, eh? Zig, be our Capitan here and his friend, Bonus. If you want to see what that baby can do, try the gun course outside. Show me some skill with that hardware. I'll hire you for a job or two, eh? <laughs> oh, how unfortunate for everybody else. Oh, they gave me a gun. I say we go and do the gun course and call it an end for the episode. I think we did a pretty good amount of missions today. <laughs> to think, we were going to stop like right after we got the banner. <laughs> uh Nothing blew up. I'm kind of sad. Hold on there. We need to teach you how to use this baby. The I think I know how to use it. A good short range weapon with a wide field of fire. To fire the weapon, press the trigger. Like this? Good. Some kick, huh? It's not the fastest firing weapon in the world. Though. You can put your weapon away or pull it out at any time. Try putting the weapon away. Easy, All right. Huh? Just take the weapon back out. Good. You can find red ammo inside crimson guard crates. Shoot the crates. Of course! I mean, why else am I here? Alright, so for the gun course, you gotta run around and hit the targets. The faster you hit them, the more points you get. I, I think Sig was gonna tell us that anyway. I, I'm sorry, Sig. It can and it will happen. Trust me, I've done it millions of times. It's embarrassing, but hey, sometimes these guys just pop out and my reaction's not that great. Or sometimes they're in the way. Now, if you get to a certain amount, whoops. See, like I said, sometimes they just get in the way. If you get a certain amount, you get like uh, precursor orbs. Like I mentioned earlier, there's gonna be like a bronze, like, score to get, a silver score to get, and a gold score to get. It always takes me a few tries to get the gold score. I say wait until you get like the ammo upgrade later on. So it'd be a little easier. And you know, when you realize the placement of the targets, it also helps. Just a little. I mean, if you unlock the secret for infinite ammo, <laughs> uh, this will be easy because you don't have to worry about your ammo being depleted. Got you, got you. This part always gets me because there's always some, you know, innocent target that you can't hit. Oh, dang it. Still got a couple more. We could probably get bronze. I'm sure we could get bronze. 
We got bronze. Can we get silver? Maybe? Like, we're very close, but at the same time, we're also very close at the end of the course. Oh, dang it. Careful. Careful. Very close. Okay, we got silver. We're not getting gold, though. <laughs> Unless these next points cost, like, 2,000, we ain't getting gold. Oh, so close. Well, I guess we'll call this an episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time. Take care. Please like and subscribe, and have a happy and safe Halloween. Thank you.